Hi, I'm Carolyn and I'm very privileged to be here today with Gary Disher, um, one of our best known uh, local authors from the Mornington Peninsula and we've just had a wonderful talk by him here at Chelsea Library about his writing career and two latest novels, Killshot and Her. And Gary, can you tell us what some of your earliest memories of libraries are? I grew up on a farm and there was no library in the local town. So we belonged to the country lending service through the State Library of South Australia. So every month the parcel of books would come up by train to the local railway station and uh, we'd go and collect them, read them and then send them back by train. That's my earliest memory. After that it was uh, school libraries I think. Um, I was badly bullied at school, high school and uh, spent a lot of time in, a, in the school library. Um, so it was a refuge. But of course, it quickly became more than that. I started to browse the shelves and started to borrow the books. And I'd always been a reader. There were always books in the house, but uh, it gave me access to a wider range of books. And uh, as a kid, I too, I remember being a kind of librarian because I went through a phase of classifying all my books, of giving them a, a, a number and a letter according to uh, how exciting it was for the right of the reading experience in general. <laughs> so if I asked you what you love most about books, that would probably be quite a long list, but are you able to, to just say a couple of things perhaps? Well, I mainly read fiction, and I think fiction takes me out of myself. It lets me enter a, another world a world of someone else's thoughts, a world that's unlike where I live, uh, a world that's exciting or absorbing in some way. So I, I get a lot from books. I think we all do. Um, shared love of books, I'm sure, is what brings us all together here. And we're sitting under a banner that says, Libraries Change Lives. Can you hand on heart say that uh, some way in which the library has changed your life? Uh, it's, it's helped me continue with my love of books and uh, being a writer, I have a low income, all writers have a low income, mostly in Australia they do, and uh, I can't always afford to buy books, so I'm, I'm at the state at my local library two or three times a week, borrowing or returning or browsing. So, it's been the main influence for me. Okay, I think you partly answered my last question, which was, what do you value most about public libraries? And you seem to be saying free access. Yeah, but I also like what I see when I go into the libraries. I have a sense of a community using a resource. And I think if people can have access to books, it keeps them fresh mentally. Um, I think. Libraries too are essential as a social hub, more than just simply borrowing books and uh, learning and being mentally stimulated. I think um, shy people, lonely people, you find a, a great deal of nourishment from libraries too. That's great. Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you so much for being here today and part of our uh, author season here at Kingston Libraries. And um, we wish you the very best and we look forward to uh, seeing your next novel in the library before too much longer. Thank you. Thank you.